Imagine unleashing your passion for cooking, but not just for your family, but for a wider range of audience. Now imagine turning that passion into a business. If that excites you, then this video is surely for you. Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorum Adventures is a three decade old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we will be walking through a fully functional professional kitchen but on wheels. We named it Food Fusion. So, without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. Painted in a deep brown with white highlights and 3M stickers, you know the drill, we are going to start at the co-driver's side and then move our way in. So, first up, we have a plug-in here to plug in our barbecue similar to what we have in our existing expandable caravan willow. These right here are the four windows that we have. So uno, dos, tres, cuatro. And these are here to maybe place an order or get your food served. Now these holes too have a purpose. So if you're ever planning to participate in an event where maybe you want to present a buffet, then you simply need to place this attachment which when you attach it here you simply need to place the table in similar to this setup and you can have a buffet table setup right here now moving on we have an awning on the top for your audience members or your customers to beat the heat and now we'll move to the front which is a plain chain front area Moving to our driver's side, this here is where we have our genset stored up. Now moving to the rear side, this is our external shower setup with both cold and hot water supply. So you connect the pipe right here and you have an external shower setup with you so that you and your onboard staff members can maintain your hygiene even when you're traveling off the grid. This right here is the inlet to our freshwater FRP tank, which in this caravan, we have not just one, but two FRP tanks. One 110 liters FRP tank that has been stored underneath here. And the second one is a 250 liters freshwater tank, which has been stored right under here. This right here is the overflow unit. So this appendix here is not only going to tell you when the water has been filled in the freshwater tank, but also whatever excess air is there in the freshwater tank, it's also going to discard that out so that you can simply fill your water tank with just water. Apart from that, on the driver's side, we do not have any windows, but this little one right here. And we have another awning on the driver's side so that whenever you want to change this whole setup into a seating table fixture, you can do so. Here we have our spare tire stored up, the ladder to travel on the top, which is where we have customized railings and more storage space so that you can keep your raw materials or any extra items that you're going to carry on the top. Now, moving to the inside, before that, we have the same standard caravan lights on the top as well as on the sides and now we open our double door entryway so on both the doors we have ample storage space to keep any of your cutleries utensils that you want in hand now moving to the interior but before that these extensions right here are to hang a bicycle or a two-wheeler of your choice in case you want to maybe send out deliveries to your nearby areas and now in we hop so the first amenity that you encounter when you enter on the inside is the most important one and that is the fire extinguisher as well as the gas geyser which is going to come in handy when you're planning to create your adventures, your food ventures during the winter season. Now mind it, all of the interior has been created using 304 grade stainless steel. 
So here we have a huge countertop where you can walk onto, underneath which we have a lot of storage space because when you're carrying your whole kitchen, you would require a lot of storage space to store each and everything. Up here we have another over the top display to store any of your amenities. This right here is a towel hanger. Here we have our light switches, charging sockets and USB port as well. Moving to the front, we have another similar unit. We have speaker because music is what sets the vibe. Moving on, we have a couple of more fire extinguishers because you cannot go wrong with more fire extinguishers. Another over the top display storage area. These right here are our 12 volt DC operated 100 liter fridge. These can go up to minus 20 degrees each. So we have ample storage space even if we are carrying something that we want to freeze over. There's one, there's two. Moving on to the other side, there is another storage unit and this area is what opens through the driver cabin which is going to give you access to the driver cabin unit. These right here are our deep fryers which work on LPG. So you process them with LPG, turn it on from right here. Moving on here we have our griddle plate where you can make dosas, chapatis, pancake and whatnot. Again we have a lot of storage in this food truck both underneath as well as up here. Moving on, this is our four top burner which has been covered using a glass lid so that when you're traveling and if in any case there is any dust, it won't then enter and get stuck in this four top burner. And in that, we have our oven where we also have some grilling equipments. Up next, we have two more chulas here to prepare our Indian cuisine food. Underneath that, we have a lot of storage again. This right here is going to be our countertop where we can utilize it for any kind of cutting, chopping, washing jobs. Adjacent to that, we have two sinks. So one is a small one, another is a big one. I'm assuming that the smaller one is there to drain out the excess water from the dishes that have already been washed and this bigger one is maybe there to wash the actual dishes we have a tap that has flexible pipe we have another countertop here to again provide you extra space for any kind of cutting chopping and etc jobs now here because this is a kitchen we have our 12 volt dc exhaust fan so I hope you can hear that. So that is how powerful it is, but it also works on a 12 volt DC supply. And that is a necessary if you're carrying such big of a kitchen, if you're prepping such amount of food items in a closed space. Lastly, we have a microwave come oven here, marking the end of this walk through this conversion. So you may be wondering why does Motorhome Adventures own a food truck? Are they going to start a food venture next or what is it? The answer is no. Although running a food truck sounds too much fun, but that is definitely not there in the yearly plans of Motorhome Adventures. Then why do we have this motorhome? Well, the answer is number one, because we participate or we curate a lot of expeditions, a lot of group travels to various sectors such as Shardham, Ladakh, all across India, as well as sectors of Nepal and Bhutan, wherein we have a fleet of caravan traveling. So during the time when we have a lot of people on board and the onboard staff members are there as well, it is very difficult to prepare the meal in six different kitchens of the caravan, which is where this food fusion is going to come in Handy. So whenever we are traveling during an expedition, the food fusion is going to travel well in advance so that they, the staff members, can prepare the meal on board. And by the time the customers come back to the destination or the clients come back to the destination that we're going to halt at, they would have a ready to eat meal. And another reason is because we want to fulfill your dream venture. So if you are someone who is a food lover, if you are someone who loves to cook, but you're dubious about investing into a restaurant or into a food truck, then this food truck can be rented by you. Meaning you can rent this food truck for as long as you wish. And if you maybe after a couple of months think that this is something that you really want to do, and this is something that you want to sign up for, then you can have a similar or a different food truck customized as per your specific requirements. This is not the first food truck that we have designed. We have built an ice cream truck. We have built a pizza truck for the Lalit Hotel. And we have also built a couple of salad trucks 
works etc etc all that to say that if you are looking forward to getting one customized as per your specific needs then you can do so it can be anything inside the wheels and you already know that we build everything and anything on wheels if you're really interested and want to get one built for yourself you can visit our website that's www.caravanconversion.com and if you are wanting to start a venture on this food fusion you can rent this very asset with all the amenities that are there through our website that's www.motorhome.co.in like this video we know everybody says that but it is because a single like of yours is going to spread this video to a wider range of audience who genuinely are interested in this kind of content and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels motorhome adventures signing off